and welcome to the No Excuses show, episode number 47. I am Eva Eckert. Now, are you looking to create a better discipline, energy, and confidence in your life so you can stop making the excuses and take massive action in your life, in your mind, body, and business so you can become happier, healthier, and more congruent with your mission? If yes, this show is for you, for all of you who are a badass, and for those of you who want to become a badass in real life. In this show, I share pretty much examples on how the No Excuses Mindset helped me and my family to achieve success in, in our life. And by having me as your accountability coach, you finally will discover the self-belief, self-discipline, internal motivation, so you can stop making the excuses and create the life you truly desire by being the best version of you. So let's roll. I see you guys logging in. Thank you. I see Kristen. I see also some people on Facebook, but I still, I know that you guys are there, but I still don't see your name. So just give me a moment as the screen kind of will, uh, will catch up. So in episode 46, I was talking about our Sackfest, how the experience made a huge impact and how we should be doing hard things in life. If you have not watched this episode, I strongly recommend you to go into uh, my YouTube channel and you can see these episodes. I see Marlene, hello, hello. Uh, what a beautiful season right now. We are a few weeks, just two weeks before Christmas, right? Love the season, absolutely love it. And today I wanted to talk to you and tell you a story that I think I have not shared this yet with you, but recent events, the recent, I would say, uh, clients of mine kind of sparked the idea of share the story. Because as we know, I believe that at least for me, when I hear the stories, it kind of like either resonates with me, they get stuck in our head. You can kind of compare to certain things and think, okay, this may be happened in my life or I can see how how this can impact me and how this person reacts. So obviously, we always learn from one another. Just always remember this, right? That we, each of us has different story. Each of us have different life. But yet, there is some similarities. Overcoming obstacles, learning how to have a positive mindset, right? All these things that we can actually share. And I believe that... For those of us who have figured this out, we should share with others because that's very empowering and, and not only for those who listen, but for the ones that teaches it, right? Why not to share these stories? Why not to inspire others and give you the ideas and examples how maybe you did it? So uh, so that's why I thought, you know what, I will, I will share this story with you. And, and the reason for it is because... A lot of us, maybe even you, you sit on something so amazing, meaning you have some amazing mission that you could accomplish in life. Maybe you have a talent or maybe something specific for you and you only, but yet you're still looking and searching for more things because either something is distracting you or someone is distracting you or you are just have too much on your plate that it, you have no clarity on what to do. And that's where I come in place to help you. And today, I hope you're going to get some lesson from it. And that's what I thought after speaking to my client recently. I thought, you know what? I will share this with you, but based on me, what happened to me. So you can see mm, this actually makes sense. So a few reasons why I will share this story with you. To show you that it's all possible, that all your dreams can become reality if you want. To ask yourself, really, do you really, do I really want this? Am I really into this? Is this something that I have strong faith in it? Uh, you know, am I positioning myself as an expert? Can I go all out? Can I go extra mile? Will I will be committed to this mission for a long time. Will I give myself, will I give all out to this project or whatever there is? Do you have enough persistence in your life? Are you easily giving up on obstacles? Because remember, obstacles will happen no matter what, guys. This is life. This is life. But a lot of people yet don't know how to overcome them. But I guess staying calm and patient will get you to your 
to your outcome but we need to have certain tools and it's good to learn the story so let's go so when I, I think at that time when this this whole thing happened I was here in America for a good few years however the freak was not on the picture yet and I don't even know if the freak knows about the story honestly I don't think that he knows the story I need to ask him about he might not even know the story so um, I obviously I was involved in fitness already and I finished, I graduated and I got my master's degree in phys physical education in Poland. But then yet when I came here, I kind of put it on hold, put it on pause and was searching for other things to do. You know, and a lot of times we search for these things and that's what I said to you. You sit on things, you sit on magic wand, you sit on something that could give you, I'm not talking about fulfillment and money because that's not the first thing you, you need to get fulfillment in your own self in your soul that's when you know that you can grow with your mission when you feel that power when you feel like work is not work when you feel like you feeling lift you feel that uplifting spirit in you then you know that this is something for you however in even things that you do and you love dearly there will be elements of things that you might not like. So be careful with this. So you're not going to put all of this picture into one thing and you will say don't like it. Because there are like, you know, I, I, I love making videos and I love putting them out there. But I'm not going to be sitting and editing my videos because this is not my 5%. I'm going to delegate this thing. And I'm also... Uh, I, I have to do maybe some accounting, but do I have to do it? No, I will delegate it because that's not my 5%. And those are the things that so you need to kind of have a clear mesh, a clear vision on this. But let's start with the story. So I came across uh, for something, something sparked in me exactly. I don't know, but something sparked in me that here in America, we didn't have a nice hosiery, sexy hosiery, like super cute, really nice. And I thought, well, there is an amazing company in Poland. It was number one company in Poland. Let's get this straight. That was making an amazing hosiery. I will not give the names today. I will not be giving names out, but it's still number one. And they were having absolutely amazing stuff. And something triggered me. Well, maybe I should just start the hosiery business. After already, remember, I was coaching already before. I, I was teaching the sessions and I was involved in fitness. But when I came here for the first few years, I put it on hold. So I figured, okay, I'm going to do this. So what I did, I contacted the company in Poland I presented myself as an expert in the field. I I told them that I think this is a great opportunity for them if they're going to have a representation here in America, in New York, to sell it. And the response was great. Let's have a meeting. Let's have a meeting. Let's meet and let's do it. So number one, from a point of view of someone that might be thinking, okay, you were not involved, you did not have any expertise or whatsoever, and you still went out and did it. And that's what I want to point this out things, to point these things out to you guys that it's just in your head. You can create whatever you want in your head, and if you strongly believe, you will get it. But a lot of people don't, and that's when the problem starts, when you don't believe that you can achieve that success. So rule number one, belief has that strong faith because faith is something that it will, no matter what's happening, if a tornado comes around and bad people come, you still have this faith in doing these things. So I start emails, right? They responded, they invited me, but they were in Poland. So in the next trip to Poland, I decided, well, I'm going to meet with them. And I choose fantastic time of the year. It was snow. It was snowing. It was so cold in Poland. We're talking about like, 15 degrees Fahrenheit, snow over the knee, and I decided that I'm just going to visit this company that day. Well, we had a meeting. So not only that, this company wasn't in my city. And I come from industrial city when we have trams and buses and everything goes. But over there, I had to go and catch some bus, go outside of the city, travel about two hours to get to them in this cold, snowy day. 
So I went to meet with them. And the reason why I'm telling you also the story that it was just, I, the snow didn't stop me. Uh, you know, the fact that I did not have any experience in, in this field didn't stop me. I just decided I'm going to do it. And that's, that's it. That was it. So I went, I met with them. Uh, obviously, I introduced myself and we had a very, very nice meeting. And they gave me a lot of different samples, a lot of different samples. They also gave me a full hosiery. And so I was all set up. Now, leaving this company, remember, they were outside of my city in the middle of nowhere. The snow keep on coming down. I barely could see what's in front of me. There were no cars in the road. And I went to a bus stop because I had to catch the bus coming back home. And it says that the next bus is, is going to be in three hours. And I'm like, how am I going to get home? It's freezing cold. It, it, you know, I, would, I was thinking I'm going to get stuck here because of the freaking snow. So what I figured, well, I just have to act and figure this out. So I stopped someone that was driving. For some reason, some car appeared on, on the road. I stopped the guy. He drove, it happened that it was driving the same direction. He drove me home. But, so look, I did not have a car. I didn't have a transportation. I still did it what I had to do. And that was going that extra mile because I had that vision. I had that vision. I want to do it. So when I got here to America, I thought, okay, now I have this. What I'm going to do with this? How I'm going to, how I'm going to sell it? What am I going to do? What's the plan of action here? You know, nobody was telling me how to do it. So I had to kind of research and do this on my own. So I picked a town when they have a lot of boutiques. In New it, it was actually New Jersey. So that day I packed all my stuff and I decided I'm gonna go visit every single store, every single store, and I'm gonna present them what I have. Can you imagine that probably on the list of like 12 stores, two of them bought it? Two of them bought the hosiery and I had to come back to the same store and provide them with these fake plastic legs so they could put it in. But here comes the thing. Each hosiery was like 15 cents that, that would cost me to buy 15 cents, but I would sell them for $20. So that was immediate money, immediate like that gratification, feeling good because I did something. And here comes the thing. A lot of you might be doing something that you get that extra money quickly, easily, but you're still not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're still not with your mission. You're still not congruent. You still doesn't still give you that full satisfaction. It was okay. I was happy. They had a display. And I said, okay, but what else can I do to make that massive movement, massive motion? So I thought, okay. I am going to start writing and sending samples to all these big, big market places like Macy's, Nordstrom. But look, there is the, here comes me with no experience, just creating this crazy idea in my head and just going for it and just calling, finding out where can I send it and just sending it, creating spreadsheets, making sure what I have and, and, and not. This took a few weeks. Listen, this was not overnight thing. Out of nowhere, a few weeks after, later, after I sent all these packages, I received an email and I received a phone call saying, we would love to have you in Nordstrom to represent this collection. I think it's great. We love it. So I got on the phone with someone. We were talking. It was just a buyer. And, and here comes the thing. I didn't follow through. Why? Because it wasn't my thing. I, I I thought this through and I figured, you know, this is just a quick thing. But it's not really what I truly desire and want to do in life. And the same thing might be for you. You might be doing all these different things in life, but not necessarily something that brings you the full joy. So also for some of you might be a situation that... You get that big offer or something so significant, something that would make that big leap for you and change your life, but you don't follow through. So there can be different scenarios here, right? Not necessarily one. 
But the thing is like, if I would have followed through, if I would have want this fully, if I had this in my heart, I would probably ended up being very successful in it, but I didn't. So for those of you who have maybe came around these obstacles and have something that stopped you from in, in your life, that some something or someone not necessarily helped you or said no to you, don't give up because people will tell you no. And if you truly believe in your mission, you continue doing what you're supposed to be doing. So it's okay that people tell you no. It's okay that you come around these obstacles. But do you have enough guts to continue, right? Do you have enough research? Do you have enough knowledge? Do you Can you really push forward? And, and you know, I shared this, this with you because the, the story, not to impress you in any way, but to show you that our mind has an amazing abilities and think about it. I've said this in my videos. Everything that is around us has been created by human mind. So that means that somebody at one point thought that can be a computer, that can be a tablet, that we can be doing a live videos and everybody can see them, that we can have a light, right? Thank you, Thomas Edison, for all these 10,000 um, practices that he's done. But think about it. That that goes into your head that everything that you really plan on and you want to do it, it can happen. But you have to have a true vision, mission. You have to go that extra mile. Don't give up because of, of obstacles showing up on your in your way. Continue with, with what you plan and have a very, very strong faith in all your endeavors. And curiosity, I think curiosity, uh, being totally submerged with what you do, will give you an answer eventually. You will not have all the answers in the beginning. The answers come as you dig the topic. The answers come as you explore more things. The answers come as you uh, do, um, do make mistakes, right? But the one thing is that if you fully believe in something, continue. Because it's going to show up. You might climb a few mountains, a few valleys before you're going to get to the top, to the peak. But you're going to get there. And that's what happened to us for, for peak, right? Now with the coaching, it's the same thing. Because we truly believe in our mission. We truly believe what, what we have to offer and how we can help people. And the same with you. Usually when you serve, when you help people, that it shows you. Now... With this story, I also wanted to point things out that I was sitting on something and you might be sitting on, on, on your gold mine. You might be sitting on something that it's so amazing for you, but you're still not taking the challenge maybe. That you're still not fully, fully taking in what life is offering to you. So maybe slowing down, pausing and like really asking yourself deep questions is it, what do I really want to do? Because it's funny how life, I think, and situations will bring you sometimes to the core of the same thing. No matter what you're going to do, it's going to always bring you to the same thing. And that's what happened to me. No matter how many times I was trying to figure another way out of fitness and nutrition, it would always brought me back to the call. It would always, there were significant things in my life that would, sh that would just happen that would remind me that I have everything what I need in order to succeed. And it's probably the same thing for you. So I hope that was a good lesson. I still cannot believe that I achieve uh, overall, I got up so high in doing something so crazy, like I told you in this story that I reach the top people in the organization, but it's all available to you. And that's what you need to believe. Okay. And again, the story was inspired by a recent uh, coaching client and uh, her sitting on something that she already has, but through coaching, through questions, through asking questions, why well, brought her back to the core? Because she was already lost and losing other things, other sides being distracted and trying to find the next thing that will bring her immediate success or immediate 
gratification, immediate money maybe, and that's what a lot of people think. But the work is always behind the scenes. The, it always happens behind the scenes and you have to put the steps. You have to put the reps, you have to put uh, time. The repetition is like with fitness, it's the same thing. To get results, you need to put the repetitions in, right? And um, it's not about, you will master certain things, but it's not perfection. Uh, not waiting for that perfect moment, perfect scenery, it's just going with the flow and not knowing everything because the vulner sometimes being vulnerable will open up other doors for you. And that's really, I think, uh, beautiful. And this story has that all. And it shows you exactly in a true fashion how it was. So, guys, I hope you got, you got something out of this story. I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for sending these messages to me. I am on different social media here. And again, you can you can log in to my, uh, to my YouTube channel and see the other episodes of the No Excuses and other motivational videos. If you have any questions, please let me know. Or you can also schedule a 15 minutes coaching call with me and uh, get you started with some amazing, amazing life uh, breaking points for you and discovering the breakthrough. I will talk to you guys soon. No excuses. Thank you for joining.